It is your favorite remote work enthusiast, Delilah. Today, I'm back with a list of 12 different work from home opportunities and careers that you can do, and they also happen to be the highest paying. Now, this list is a mix of opportunities that you can do from your home without ever having to leave. And then some of these do require you to go outside of your home, but they are all home based. And many of these are actually remote friendly, meaning you can take them on the go with you. So you don't really have to worry about being at your home or in a central location to your home. You can go on the go. And then also, this list is going to include some that you've heard of and then some that you probably haven't even thought about. So my whole goal is just to get your mind thinking about different ways you can earn money and you can do it from your home. You know, you don't have to go into an office. That's always the best part. No office involved. So before I get into this list, I'm gonna need you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button right now, and then make sure you tap the notification bell so you can stay up to date on the latest work from home opportunities. I post weekly work from home hot leads for companies that are hiring, as well as work from home info that I know you will love. All right, let's go ahead and get into this list. So first up on my list is being an online tutor. Typically online tutors start off making somewhere between 20 and $45 per hour. And I know this because I was an online tutor for over two years. It's actually how I got my start working remotely. And being an online tutor, you can do and teach a lot of different topics. You can teach English as a second language. You can teach the SAT or the ACT like I did academic subjects, I also taught those. And you can also teach just about anything. If there is something that's taught in school, there is a tutoring opportunity for it. And there are so many companies out here, you can find a company that will allow you to tutor the subject that you feel the most comfortable in. So being an online tutor, I wanted to put that as number one, not because it's the highest paying, but just because is something that I have a lot of experience with. Number two on this list is being a virtual assistant. Now virtual assistants make somewhere around $15 per hour to start off with, and it only goes up from there with more experience. Now being a virtual assistant, it includes doing like data entry, sending emails, maybe some social media posts, anything that you can do on a computer, you would be doing that as a virtual assistant. And typically you would be working for like digital marketers or someone who has an online based business. And you can become a virtual assistant very easily. You really don't have to have a lot of skills to do it. You can set up a profile on a site called Fiverr or Upwork. Those are the two that I'm most familiar with because I've actually used them. And when you set up your profile, that's how people are able to find you and hire you. So being a virtual assistant pays really well. It's very remote friendly. You don't really have to worry about being on the phone. And sometimes you might have to get on the phone, but in general, it's all through your computer and you don't really have to talk to anyone. So it's very remote friendly. You can take it on the go with you. You just need an internet connection. Number three on my list is being a web designer. Now web designers tend to make money based off of the project, but if you were to break it down hourly, it's somewhere around $20 per hour, which is really good. Now to be a web designer, you do have to develop those skills. And there are a lot of free tutorials on YouTube that can show you how to use the different plugins that allow you to easily set up a website. And then you can also go to Udemy, which is a website that you can buy courses on, and you can find courses about being a web designer and learn from those courses. So you don't have to go to college to become a web designer, and you can learn how to do this online. And it's a very remote friendly opportunity because you just need your computer and an internet connection to be able to do your job. So you don't have to worry about any kind of phones, and you also get to make your own prices and be an entrepreneur. 
Next up is being a graphic designer. Now graphic designers start off somewhere around $17 to $18 per hour. And this is a skill that you will have to develop and you can do that through watching YouTube tutorials as well as paid courses on Udemy. But graphic designers make images. So the thumbnail that you saw and clicked on for this video, that would be an example of graphic design. Typically people use Photoshop or some other similar program to make images or to do their graphic designing. So it is something that you're going to have to develop as far as like the skill set. But once you do, you are able to be an entrepreneur and you can make your prices and you can do the projects that you want to do and you can make a full time living being a graphic designer. Next up is being an Amazon Flex driver or a Uber driver or a Lyft driver. Those are like the three most popular driving opportunities out there. And you can make on average around $15 per hour doing those opportunities. Now you do have to leave your home because you have to drive, but you are home based and you are in control of your schedule in these opportunities. It's all app based. You decide when you're going to work. You just turn on the app. And then when you are done for the day, which is whenever you decide you're done, you just turn off the app. And this is a great opportunity because you really are in control of your schedule. You're able to make it work with your lifestyle and you don't have to worry about scheduling anything beforehand. If something comes up, it's okay because you decide when you work and there's always opportunities available for all three of those different driving services. So being an Amazon Flex, Uber driver, or a Lyft driver are some ways that you can make a lot of money. Along the same lines of driving is being a delivery driver. So you can deliver food and you can do that through Uber Eats, DoorDash, Grubhub. And on average, you can expect to make about $13 per hour doing those opportunities. And again, you get to make your own schedule, which is so awesome. You just turn on the app when you're ready to work. And then when you are done for the day, just turn it off. And there's no prior scheduling needed. So again, if something comes up, if you've got an appointment, if there's something that you've got to do that you weren't expecting that day, it's all right because you are in control of your schedule, which there's just so much benefit to that alone. Not to mention, you can make some great money doing it. So the next opportunity that you can do from home is being a event planner or a wedding planner. Now, this is something that I have a little experience with not actually doing, but using myself. And when you are an event planner, you get paid per the opportunity and it typically averages out to be about $20 per hour. But wedding planners and event planners, they make well over a thousand dollars per event. A lot of them are making like $3,000 per event. It just depends on how reputable you are, how much experience you get. But this is something that you can do from your home and then you will need to leave your home to go to see vendors and meet with clients. But it's another opportunity that allows you to be in control of your schedule. You're in control with whoever you work with. And it's something that you will need experience with, but you don't necessarily have to go to school for. So you can take courses online that teach you about what you need to know as a wedding planner. It was something that I considered doing myself when planning my wedding, but I just decided to hire someone. So you can make a lot of money doing that and you get to be home based. Number eight, become an insurance agent. Now, this is something that I actually would do myself. All of these are things that I would not mind doing myself, which is why they are in this list. But if I did not already have a business where I worked in remote human resources, working with different companies, I would be an insurance agent. And I actually got my start in insurance. I worked on the marketing side when I just graduated college. 
I worked for a company where I had to travel and be a marketing representative for it. And I would go visit insurance agents and a lot of them actually worked out of their home office. And when you're an insurance agent, the sky is the limit for how much you earn. But typically just starting off, you make around $40,000 per year. And that would be like a bad year for an insurance agent. Most insurance agents are making way more than that. And it does require you to get your license. You do have to take courses to become a licensed insurance agent, but it is well worth the investment because once you are licensed and you are able to sell insurance, you can make a lot of money and I would manage their books of business. And I knew how much insurance these agents were writing just with the company I was working for alone. So these insurance agents were making a lot of money. They were doing it from the comfort of their home. And that's something that you can definitely do as well. And if I didn't do what I was doing, I would be an insurance agent. <laughs> Number nine on my list is being a online course creator. Now I actually have three courses, how to find a remote job, remote work resume formula, and remote work cover letter formula. And all of my courses sell for over a hundred dollars each. Now there are courses that go all the way up to the thousands of dollars. And then there are courses that sell for like $10, which is the majority of courses on Udemy. Now Udemy, which is a website that I mentioned earlier, is a website where you can purchase courses and you can also create and host your course on Udemy and that's how people find them. And these courses are created by people just like you and me. And all you need to create a course is to know about a topic and then be able to teach that topic and package it up. And when I first made my course, I didn't really know a whole lot about making courses. I knew about buying courses and taking other people's courses, but I just didn't know if my course was going to be that great. And to my pleasant surprise, it has done really well for me. And I've since created my other two courses, Remote Work Cover Letter and Resume Formula. So you can earn a lot of money selling courses, but the key thing is to make sure that the content in your courses is actually helpful. If your course is not good, you will not sell because word will get out and people will not buy your course. But if you really take your time and put great information into your courses, you will have no problem selling your course. You just have to make sure that you are putting in the legwork behind it, letting people know about your course. But if you don't have any type of audience or people don't know about your course, then Udemy will sell your course for you. So you don't really have to worry about who will buy it because if your course is on Udemy, they will sell it for you. You just gotta focus on making it a good course and then you can make some really good money. Number 10 on this list is being a at-home daycare provider. Now, if you are someone who is good with kids, you love the kids, then you can work from your home as a daycare provider. And on average in the US, people pay around $600 per month per child to receive daycare services. So if you had maybe like three to eight children you were watching, you could make really good money and you could do that from the comfort of your home. But you will need to know how to take care of children. You'll also need to be very patient. You'll probably want to get some CPR classes so you know how to deal with any type of situation that comes up, like if a child is choking and you know what to do in certain situations. But to be a daycare provider, you don't necessarily have to have formal training. You just need to be really good with kids, someone people can trust, and then also have those skills like doing CPR. And you know, if you have the environment and all of those things, then you can have your own at-home daycare. Number 11 is being a video editor. 
Now being a video editor in the US commands you around $17 per hour on average, and that's just entry level. And as you get more skills and you are more proficient, you will earn more money. And I actually hired a video editor myself earlier this year because I wanted to make sure that I could continue producing these videos and getting them out every single week on top of working in my business full time. And I knew that I wasn't gonna be able to make videos some weeks if it meant I had to edit them. So there's a lot of other people on YouTube and just in general who need video editing services. And you can set up a profile on Fiverr or Upwork. Those are two very popular sites for finding video editors and someone will find you. And that's how you can get high to edit videos. Now, the skill set behind editing videos, it can be self taught. I actually taught myself how to edit my videos before I hired someone. And you can find a lot of free tutorials on YouTube, as well as Udemy, where they have courses for that. And you can, you know, just teach yourself as well. So there's a lot of different ways that you can pick up this skill, but you will need to actually like practice before you're ready to sell your services. But once you get good at editing videos, you are ready to start earning some really great money. Last but not least is going to be one that you may have never heard of or considered, or maybe you have, but it's becoming an Arise independent business owner or having an Arise IBO. Now, if you are not familiar with Arise, then you definitely want to check out my playlist on them. I did an entire playlist on this company and I'm always adding to it as there's more information to add. But this is a company that allows you to do customer service on behalf of Fortune 500 companies. And the way the Arise structure works is after you have certified you are able to then start servicing these clients. But to get onto the platform to even certify and service clients, you have to be brought in through an IBO. Either you can be your own IBO or you can work under someone's IBO. But to be an IBO, you have to have an LLC or a formal business. It has to be filed with your state. And then you would just enter your information, your EIN and all that other stuff. And then now that you're able to start servicing on the platform, you would then want to bring in people under you. So the people who you're bringing in under you, they don't necessarily have a business filing. They are people who want to do customer service, but the only way that they can do it is either start their own business or come in through your business. Now, where you make the money is off of each person. And as an IBO, you get paid per CSP. So depending on the IBO, they charge different fees. And some charge a percentage, which can get to be quite a bit of money. And then some to be able to actually get CSPs to work under them because you can't charge people crazy. They may charge like anywhere from like 10 all the way to like $50 per pay period. But the more CSPs you have, the more money you can make. Now, this is something that does require recruiting. It requires quite a bit of work. It requires quite a bit of time. You are going to have to manage people. But if you do build up your IBO, you can have a lot of CSPs servicing under you and you can be making money every single pay period just by having them under your IBO. So you can make a lot of money being an Arise independent business owner and you get paid per person. All right, there you have it. Those are the 12 highest paying at home careers. And now I wanna hear from you all in the comment section below, which opportunity or opportunities sound the best to you? I wanna know in your opinion, which one are you going to pursue or you're going to look more into? And then were there any opportunities that I listed that you had never thought about? I also wanna know that as well in the comment section. 
So please share this video on your social media. These videos help people connect to legitimate opportunities and help people find work from home info that they are looking for. So you're helping people when you share this video. And hopefully this was helpful for you and I will talk to you all soon. Bye.